So we talked about this a little bit last week, but with what happened with Terra, what, what's happened Monday with Celsius, does this suggest a need for regulation? And I think we, I mean, we did talk about you, you're, you think that it's gonna happen most likely anyway. Um, yeah. But what does this mean long-term for crypto once that regulation starts setting in? How does yeah, that no, affect that 10 year that Absolutely, tenure outlook? Aaron. I mean, the recent developments in the crypto market have underscored that we need regulation. Regulation is, an, is a necessary evil. There's mm-hmm. a lot of Bitcoin maxes out there, crypto maximalists that are like, no, no regulation, free markets forever. Cryptos are designed to be um, mm-hmm. deregulated, uh, non-regulated. They're going to survive on their own. No, they are not. They just mm-hmm. aren't. You know, I like to think of myself as a realist, an optimistic mm-hmm. realist. I mm-hmm. believe in the future cryptocurrencies. I think they can transform the world. They, re- they already are transforming it. Their transformation mm-hmm. is going to grow in influence. But... If you want the most beneficial impact, the most sustainable growth in this industry, you need regulation. You need Mm -hmm. loose regulation. We've talked about this before, Aaron. There's Mm -hmm. zero regulation, there's tight regulation, and then there's that Mm -hmm. down the fairway of loose regulation. If we Mm -hmm. hit down the fairway and get that loose regulation, that is the stage upon which we can truly see cryptos impact and change the world because confidence Mm -hmm is destroyed in this market right now mm-hmm. who trusts yeah. a DeFi project like see, like i don't know how i could trust a DeFi project right now mm-hmm. it is i mean terra celsius and then exchanges coinbase cutting 20 percent of employees BlockFi mm-hmm. doing 20 percent. i mean it's just it is why have faith in this market what the recent developments have underscored is in order for 95 percent of us to have faith in the cryptocurrency markets we mm-hmm. need some regulation. We need a hand on the scale to help us have faith. Mm-hmm. And once we get that, it's going to be a long time for us to adjust and evolve and craft regulation that is down the fairway, that does promote mm-hmm. innovation without hindering growth, that does promote security without freaking people out. I think that is going to be a tough task. But we're going to mm-hmm. do it. And once we do, it's going to create a stage for cryptos to really take over. And I think that regulation wave is going to come in mm-hmm. 23, 24, 25. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be a catalyst for that boom cycle I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. That I think good regulation, loose regulation will be a basis for cryptos to move higher. Mm-hmm. So I'm actually looking forward to the next sort of wave of regulation. I think it could add some real clarity and inject some real certainty and confidence back into these markets. Thanks for watching HGI Clips. For the full episode, head on over to our sister channel at Hyper Growth Investing by clicking the link in the description or listen to the podcast on any of your favorite streaming platforms. We make new episodes every Wednesday, so make sure to check it out and subscribe to never miss any of Luke's Hyper Growth Insights.